What's up, folks? Welcome to Woodworking Against the Grain. Look here, you're in for a treat today. We're going to make some fried peat pies. Now, before we can make fried peat pies, we're going to make some pie crust to put these puppies in. Now, if you don't want to make pie crust, you can buy some. It's pretty good. That's fine. We're going to try some homemade pie crust here today. Pie crust is a little bit tricky. You got to learn a few tricks about it here, but we're going to go through it step by step. And we're going to make some good fried peat pies. May make some fried coconut pies to go with them. So stay tuned. Right now I'm going to put some of this flour. I'm going to make this in two batches because my food processor here won't hold all this at one time. This is five cups of sifted flour and a pound of real cold butter. And this is going to make about four nine-inch pie crusts. So we're going to be taking these rolling them out into one big one and cutting smaller circles out of it for these fried pies. But I can't get all this done in one batch, so I'm going to do it in two different stages. I'm going to put two cups of this flour in the food processor over here right now. About two and a half, I guess, would be about right. To that, I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of sugar, and then we're going to put about half of this butter in here with it. Now this is real cold butter. You want your butter to be real solid when you're making pie crust. You don't want it to be room temperature, you want it to be just really Almost frozen is okay. We're going to put about half of that butter in there. Call that about half, I guess. Then, get the lid on this food processor here. We're going to pulse this just until this makes what looks like coarse ground cornmeal. Just a few pulses to get that going. Get all the butter chopped up here with it. Now I've got this pulsed up here to where it's just about like coarse meal. And I got just enough cold water added to it to where when you pinch it together between your fingers, it sticks together. So that's that's the consistency that you want right there. Now I'm going to take this out, put it on this pastry mat here. We're going to make this into a disc. We're going to work the uh, do the rest of these ingredients and make one big ball out of that. And then we're going to put that ball in the fridge, let it get real good and cold again. We'll come back. And we'll roll this out. We'll cut our pie crust out. In the meantime, we'll be making our filling for our peach fried pie. What I've got right here is a quart of fresh peaches. You don't have to use fresh. You can use frozen. I wouldn't recommend canned. You can use them. That's all you got. But frozen or fresh would be better here. We're going to put some flour under these peaches. And we're going to add cup and a half granulated sugar to these peaches. We're going to make this fried pie filling just like we would make a good peach cobbler. We're going to put some sugar in there to make it sweet. We're going to add a half a teaspoon of salt to keep it from being bland. And we're going to cook this until this sugar dissolves. And we're going to turn it off. Now keep in mind what we're making here. Now in a cobbler you want a lot of juice. For fried pies you don't because you're going to, we're going to wrap this in a pastry and fry it. And we don't want a bunch of liquid running all over the skillet when we do that. So I drained these peaches. So all I had here was just the meat of the peach, not very much liquid. And then I added the sugar. When that sugar dissolves it's going to make a little bit of liquid itself. You don't want too much liquid and what liquid that's in here needs to be relatively thick. Now to this 
peach mixture, I'm going to add about a half a stick of butter. I switched over to a wooden spoon. It doesn't make near as much noise when you're stirring as a metal spoon scraping against the bottom of this metal pot does. So maybe you can hear me a little bit better. But this sugar is just about dissolved. I'm going to add a half stick of butter to that. When that butter melts, we're going to turn the fire off. And then we're going to roll out some pie crust and get ready to fry these babies up. Once we get them fried, the only thing left to do then is just eat them. All right, folks, we got our dough rolled up here. We're about to flour this mat just a little bit here. So this stuff don't stick too bad. Flour our rolling pin up just a little bit here. You have to keep these things hid when you're not using them. Somebody walk the other side of the head with one of them. Now, we got our dough cut into four small pieces. We're going to try to warm this up just enough where we can roll it out fairly thin. Then we're going to cut some circles out of it. You don't want to overwork this stuff because you'll make it tough. You want it to be flaky. You know what makes a flaky pie crust? That's those little BBs of butter that's in there. When that butter melts, it makes a pocket, which makes a flake. That's why you don't want to overwork your, your dough, and you want to keep your uh, butter real cold when you make it. Works out better that way. I see that's going to roll out pretty good. I want to roll it out fairly thin. Kind of roll it in all directions there. If it starts to get a little bit of sticky, just flick you a little bit of flour up on there. Not a whole lot. Just roll them on out. Roll it out this way and on. If you get tired of that, go the other way. Main thing is have a lot of fun with your rolling. That's how we roll. We're going to roll these out. And when it tears like that, don't panic. Just mash it back together. Put a little bit more flour there. Roll it some more. Now we just about got that as thin as I want. Now this is not going in a pie plate, so it doesn't have to be round. What we're going to do is cut round disc out of this. Put some of that peach pie filling that we made in there, fold it over, and then we're going to fry it in some hot coconut oil here in a minute. And after that, we're just going to eat them. All right, we've got our dough rolled out here. We've got it cut into circles about six inches in diameter. What we're going to do now is take a little bit of, just dip your finger in water and just wet the rim of this circle. I'll show you why in just a minute, just to kind of get that outside half inch of that moisture. Then we're going to add just a little bit, a couple of tablespoons of our peach filling right here. We're going to fold this over in half, and we're going to wet this fork and crimp the edges. Put some fire under our coconut oil over here. That's starting to run out there already. We crimp that down, and that's how that's going to look. Till we get it out of the grease. And I'll show you that in just a minute. Now we got our grease hot here. We're going to ease these down in there. And you don't want to crowd your pan. Don't try to fry them all at one time. And all you're going to do now is just cook that crust a little bit on each side. And these things are going to be Yummy to eat. We're just going to let that brown in that coconut oil just a few minutes. We're going to ease it over through the other side. You're going to have a good fried 
recipe to try here. If you make this recipe, give yourself plenty of time. Give yourself plenty of time to, uh, to make this. It takes a little while. You've got to set your, you know, if you're going to make the crust, you've got to do that ahead of time. Let it chill. you got to cook your peaches down a little bit and get them sweetened up. So this is not something you want to do on the fly. Something you want to do when you've got plenty of time. It's kind of a food of love thing. We're going to roll these over. Like I say, it doesn't take just a few short minutes for them to brown there. So you see how pretty and golden brown that is? And once that gets done, we'll drain it on a rack. Let it cool a little bit, we'll fry up the rest of them and then we'll show you how to finish this up. Alright, we got all of our fried pies done here. They all turned out pretty good and golden brown. They look good right there. I'm going to show you how to plate one of these up in a minute. Once you get these all cooled off out of the grease, it's the best way to eat them is to sprinkle you a little bit of powdered sugar on there. Shake it around a little bit. Turn it over and get a little bit on both sides and then see how good it is. Mm. Thanks for watching. Come back for some.